We are definitely very excited to be having a stage like this because it's super uh, unpredictable. Definitely we want to go for that victory, for that yellow jersey, so let's see what happens. I like today's stage. I always like uh, racing Strada Bianchi. I, I think the gravel brings some extra excitement and uh, of course we're going to have fun out there. I won't take the yellow jersey, but uh, Marianne is uh, very strong. So I hope uh, in uh, one uh, lucky day. There's a lot of uh, high competition, but uh, no, I'm not really fearing anyone. Nearly 127 kilometers from Troyes, with 13 kilometers on white roads. A reduced version of the Strada Bianca or the Paris Tours awaits the female riders of the peloton and the cyclocross regulars will have their advantage. Especially since these white roads are located in the middle of the last 60 kilometers of the race, five climbs of third or fourth category and a new bonus point at the top of the Côte de Bergère. In Barca Aube, all the jerseys can change shoulders tonight. It takes time for the breakaway of the day to form. A few attempts follow one another and it is a trio who managed to get away. Laura Asensio, Valérie de May and Coralie de May, but no link between the Belgian and French rider. The gap quickly reaches more than 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Things start to get serious after the intermediate sprint on the first Queen of the Mountain. The teams of the favourites are repositioned before the Côte de Celso Ors. In front, Valérie de May doesn't manage to follow and it is a French duo that attacks the first of the four white roads. Behind them, Demi Vollering takes over the tempo, followed by her rivals. They are now two in front, two French, with 51 seconds d'avance. The Côte de Val de Clos is the next challenge. The opportunity for Coralie de May to score three more points. She secures the three points. This rider is definitely on a mission today. With five points, she can go for the polka dot jersey of Femke Heritzer. But the yellow jersey group closes in on her at the end of the second white road. <laughs> De May resists but is caught with 36 kilometers to go. There are no more breakaways due to the work rate of Team SD Works and Marlin Royce. Look at the power of SD Works. They bring Coralie De May back. The third sector, the longest one of the day, is still damaging. Cecilia Utrub Ludwig, Mavi Garcia, and Cassia Nuvia Doma, victims of a mechanical problem. More fear than harm for the three riders in the top 10. Casia Nivadoma, elle revient, elle revient comme un boulet de ouais, canon. Elle revient Laurent. pas sur les premières. Non, là, non, non. Ça, c'est pas le groupe de tête. Hein. She knows that it's not too far. 14 seconds to the Nivia Doma group. Well, we're three in the first group. Marlon, you look really strong on the gravel, so try on the next section for a good moment and attack. Marlin Royce takes her chance a few kilometers later, and it is in the gravel sector that things accelerate again under the impulse of Cassia Nuvia Doma. Sarata Canuo. An acceleration that distanced Annemiek van Vleuten, Elisa Lungo-Borghini and Mavi Garcia. The latter, definitely having a bad day, makes a huge mistake. C'est la poisse lagging pour, pour l'Espagnol. Marlon, these case, four case are uh, flat. 
a little bit down sometimes, but nothing big. So pace is well. Eh? Come on, come on, going really good. And in the chase group, Ami Alusik, Music and Ewers take advantage of their place in the general classification ahead of the yellow jersey group. But the Swiss rider, European champion and silver medalist of the world and of the Olympics is unbeatable. She checks around. This is the best way to win a bike race, to attack and do it solo. A majestic ride by Marlon Royce. On attendait Marianne Vos ou Elisa Longo Borghini. Eh bien, la Suissesse a surpris toutes les favorites et remporte sa première victoire sur le Tour de France, la plus belle de sa carrière. At the age of 13, Marlon Royce wins her 13th career victory, but only the fourth one in a road race. More than a minute later, Avita Music wins the sprint of the three chasers, followed shortly after by the yellow jersey group, where Mariana Voss is the fastest. The team had the plan to make a hard race and to not let it come down to a, an easy final. So we just said we attack and one would go. And then I was lucky it was me. The first solo victory in this Le Tour de France, thanks to Marlin Reusser, who adds to this victory the Combativity Award. Elisa Longoborghini and Annemiek van Vleuten salvaged their day. They finished in the same time as Mariana Vos. The Dutch rider didn't hesitate and kept her yellow jersey without experiencing any major difficulties. The general classification is nevertheless shaken up with the disappearance of Mavi Garcia, who arrived more than 1 minute and 30 after her rivals, which allows Elise Shabby to enter the top 10. The green jersey remains on the shoulders of Voss. The Queen is already close to 200 points. 58 points more than Lorena Wiebes and Lotte Kopecki, who will have a hard time to close the gap. Despite the five points scored by Laura Asensio and Coralie DeMay, Femke Heritzer is still the best climber with eight points, but her lead has been reduced. Finally, Julia de Vilde is still the leader of the best young rider classification. The Belgian rider from Planta Pura keeps the white jersey. Despite an eventful day, no one has lost their distinctive jerseys, but tomorrow the course will be less hilly and less favourable for attacks. But with 175 kilometres, the longest of this edition, the stage between Bar-le-Duc and Sandy de Vosges will be awaited by the peloton.